channel thanks for tuning in today and in today's video i'll be showing you how you can amend or adjust your wig cut and you will need um your white chalk or um silver marker a scissors measuring tape needle and thread or you can use your sewing machine if you've got one so as you can see i've got two wig caps here this is a medium wig cap size and this is large as you can see this is bigger than this one because this is medium and this is large so um i want to reduce the large size uh, wig cap to uh medium size and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my measuring tape to measure i don't have any problem with this side of the cap so it's it's only you know the um the width part of it which is from here down to here can you see to the middle of the cap so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start measuring from here the length area of the wood cap don't stretch it out you can just try to push it push it out properly so as you can see i've got six inches here and i want to measure the other wood cap for you to see can see I've got almost I've got seven inches so this is six the depth of this is from the length down to the middle of the wig cap is um six inches and the other one is seven inches which means I have to reduce by taking away one inch from the bigger one the large size i mean with cap so and that is what i will be doing now so i want to show you what i've just explained on the mannequin this is the large medium cap which i'm going to reduce to medium size and this is the medium size cap so i want you to see why i want to reduce the cap this is the front of my wig so as you can see i'm going to turn this round you can see it's sitting on the mannequin head properly no space in between and it's not squeezing up as you can see everything is smooth from the back to the front and the sides as well so i'm going to show you um, the large cap on the mannequin so this is the large wig cap on the mannequin can you see it's folding up squeezing up you know and look at all those you know space and if i don't reduce the size of this um cap if i sew the extension on it like this when my client is wearing it is 
going to um it won't be flat on her on her head and there's going to be space in between the wig cap and her head so i don't want that so i will I'll, that's why i'm trying to reduce the cap before sewing the extension on it it's much easier for me to adjust now not after i've already you know install the extension on the wig cap so now i'll be re reducing the cap now to the size i i need for my clients and i'll be using my sewing machine so now i'm going to start to um, measure out the bit how be I mean cutting off from the wig cap but in, before I can do that I have to mark it on the wig cap and make sure when you are doing this you know this is how we put the wig cap on the mannequin this is the back of the cap on the mannequin the side and this is the front so now when you are about to start with the reduction try not to follow this um the shape of the cap when you put it on the mannequin so what i'll be doing now is i'm going to fold across like this You know this is how we put on the mannequin so i'll be folding across like this so i will not be sewing following the i mean the way we normally put on the mannequin and um, i will now mark out where i'll be cutting off I'm not going to touch the band because I'm fine with the band. The band is okay for me. What I'm trying to cut off from this band is this bit. That's why I showed you on the mannequin head. So I don't want this side to, you know, budge out after I've install, uh, installed the extension on it. So, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my marker. Can so I'll be using my silver marker. You can use a white chalk. Just use something that you know you'll be able to see on the cap because the cap is black in color. So you don't use um, a marker or chalk that is also you know dark in color. You might not be able to trace it out on the cap. So that is why you know it's better for for you to use something that you can easily see. On the cap so I'm marking it out now it's one inch that I've already um, mailed on the cap so I'm going to follow that now and make sure so you follow it keep measuring you know we are taped round until you get to this side the other side of the cap and um, make sure you don't sew inside of the cap don't turn it out while trying to adjust or sew it the reason is it's better to do it here because you are going to sew the extension on the outer part of the cap and it's you know it won't really show you've done any adjustment but if you sew in here that means you are going to sew inside out of the wig cap and um it won't be neat enough i like my neat cap my cap the inside of my cap to be neat so for me i, I would prefer to sew on the outer part of the cap so take note of that
so now i've finished sewing with my machine and this is what i've got now so can you see my white line so i've sewn around this white straight line but if you are using a needle and thread i would advise you that after you have already marked the one inch out you can just you can secure your line using a pin like this so that you won't lose your your trap on the line so as you can see so you just follow it around using your your needle and thread so you follow it so round is it's still the same method um, whether you use um, a sewing machine or needle and thread so you just sew round and um, and at the end of it like mine now I'm still having the one inch I measured before sewing it so, and this is still my one inch so that is why it's better to um you know secure the line the mat you have on the cap by using the pin so it gives you an idea of where you are tracing on the um on the weight cap so at the end of it i still have my one inch and as i've you know said earlier on i like to sew on the outer part of my wig cap so now that i've sewn on the outer part i'm going to show you the inside of the cap now this is the inside of my cap can you see that this is very neat unlike you know if i've sewn on this part of the cap for me personally i don't really like it so i like to sew here because um, I know I'm still going to attach, you know, sew the extension on this side and it will cover up the, the side where I've already done um, the adjustment. So the last bit of it is, um, is now to cut this part off because if you leave this part without cutting it off it you know it's definitely going to affect your sewing and you know you can feel it so sewing on it is going to cause a real big problem because you won't be able to sew properly it won't grip you know it's not going to be see this side you want it's going to give you of course a big issue so it is I mean, better to cut it off but while cutting it off um be careful don't cut on the on this you know stitches so make sure you cut carefully what I cut out of the cup and this is what I've got left so now I'm going to try it again on the mannequin for you to see the difference before the adjustment and um, after the adjustment
so this is my cap now after the adjustment can you see the difference if you remember before the adjustment it was so thick that um it was folding up in the middle we have lots of um folds around here especially in the middle area of it but because we have adjusted it we've taken one inch out can you see how perfect is you know it looks on the mannequin now so it's very easy to do whether you are using a sewing machine or needle and thread so don't be discouraged to 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 use um a bigger um wig cap if that is what you've got at home so thank you for watching if you've got any questions please you can write all your questions in the in the comments um and i'll answer i mean get back to you as as soon as i can thank you